what we do is we set the meter for resistance. And when you do that, you'll see the display says OL. I call that overload, meaning that there's more load than the meter can read. And if you short the leads together, you will read a near perfect short as a 0.0, .0 on the meter. So, <clears throat> if we look at the float switch conductors, there's three on this particular float, indicating that it is has a common and normally open and normally closed conductor. So, for sake of troubleshooting, I'm going to measure across the black and white leads, implying that come to a float and we try to troubleshoot it and you measure across those leads and you measure overload <clears throat> that's fine if the, meter, if the float should be reading as normally open in the down position so let's say that it is so now we've got the leads measured across the float and if we toggle the float to what should be the other condition or opposite condition that state should change to a shorter as you can see, you can hear the switch toggling. This meter is reading the same either way, indicating that the float switch is bad. But I know this float is a good switch, good float, and I also know that I'm trying to show you a scenario here that simulates a bad float. So I measured intentionally across the two output conductors of this float switch. One lead being normally open and the other lead being normally closed. So, <clears throat> now I'll show you how it should read and how it should operate. Moving to this red conductor on this flight, putting a lead there, knowing that this red conductor is the common of the two conductor contacts, then going to the white, you will notice that now we are reading a shorter condition near zero, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 ohms of resistance. So if we toggle the float now, we should see that state change to an overload, or high resistance, or an open, an open circuit. Put the float back down, go back to the shorted condition that in the normal position between the red and the white wire it is normally closed. Now if we leave our lead on the red conductor move to the black we should see just the opposite. The float is in the upright position, the meter is reading in open condition and if I toggle the float we should see a shorted condition. Put the float back to its normal position, they go back to an open condition. And that's really all there is to it.